Okay, in this video, we're going to start up the Google TV, the Logitech review with Google TV for the very first time. So I plug the device in, and this is what you see here. This is the welcome screen. It says, Welcome to Logitech Review. How to use your controller. Use the arrow and OK keys to control your Logitech Review. The touchpad allows you to use the cursor in addition to the keys, and the back key takes you back to the previous screen, as you would expect. Now, right now, I am in my attic on my 8-foot projection television screen. It's a 720p high-definition projector. The same projector I had my original Google TV on, the Sony Internet TV with Google TV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my keyboard is on, and I'm going to use my cursor here to go to Next. I'm going to click my mouse button here. And so far, I can tell that the trackpad is pretty responsive, so that's a good thing. Now, it says getting started. Setup takes about 20 minutes and includes maximizing your screen area, connecting to the internet, signing into your Google account, setting up your TV service, setting up your TV and AV receiver control. So let's try and blow through this as quickly as possible. Maximize your screen. In four steps, you'll push each side of the Google TV screen to just barely cover the edge of your TV screen. So I'm going to hit Next here. Okay, and I just want to press the up, and it obviously increases the rectangle in the up direction, and that should take care of that, and let's go to next. Now, so far, I can already tell you that I like this trackpad a whole lot better than I like the Sony controller. The Sony device had sort of an optical mouse on it, and uh, it was not the easiest thing to work with because it didn't have a lot of range on it. This one is like a basic trackpad you'd find on a computer, on a laptop computer, although it is much smaller than what you'd find on a laptop. It's still a lot more functional than the Sony version, the Sony Internet TV with Google TV Remote. Let's continue with this and press Next. Now we're going to expand this to the right and get rid of all the blue and go to the Next here. Push down. No more blue. Getting rid of it. And finally it should go to the left. Okay. Click on Next. Maximize your screen area. Your screen should be maximized. If you still see blue, select Start Over. Well, I don't see any blue, so I'm going to go to Next. Connect to the Internet. How do you connect to the Internet? Through an Ethernet cable or through wireless? I do wireless. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter in all my wireless information. When I'm done with that, I'll meet back up with you on the other side of that. Okay, I connected to my wireless network, and it says System Updates, Downloading. This download will take about 10 to 15 minutes, and then it gives me a couple of did you knows on the bottom of that to keep me occupied while this is downloading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this do its update and I will join back up with you when it's all completed, when it's done, and we're ready to take on the next step. Okay, everything's downloaded and verified. Now I just have to restart the machine and we can continue with the process here. So I'm going to restart and install here. Get the cool little graphic there of the Google TV and the update. Nice little Logitech intro there. It's checking for more system updates. We'll see if there are any more to download. We're on step 5 of 12 so far. Okay, my system is up to date. Let's go to the next step in the process here. Okay, it wants me to sign in with my Google account. So I'm going to sign in and I will catch you on the other side of that. Okay, I entered in my Google account, and if you did not have one at the time of signing up here, you can actually sign up for a Google account in this process here. Uh, the next step, step 7 out of 12, says help make Google TV better. Automatically send usage statistics to Google. Well, might as well. They already know enough about me. It's not a big deal, so I'm going to click on that and click on Next. Okay, step 8 of 12 is a Logitech legal notice. I'm just going to accept this here without reading it. 
If I don't accept it, I won't be able to use the device, so obviously I want to accept it. Now it wants my zip code, let me enter that in, and I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, now we're on step 10 of 12. It says set up TV service. How do you watch TV? I have cable, satellite, or other TV service with a set-top box, or I don't have a set-top box. Now, in my situation, which I did basically in my previous setup of Google TV up here, I use Comcast and I have just basic cable. So my cable box does not have an HDMI out. So in order to set up your Google TV, whether it be the Sony version or the Logitech version, to set up Google TV with your cable box, you need to put the Google TV between your cable box and your television set. So what I mean by that is you need an HDMI cable running out of your set-top box, your cable box, and then that HDMI cord has to go into the Google TV device, and then you run another HDMI from the Google TV to your television set. Again, my cable box does not have an HDMI out on it, so I can't use Google TV with my cable box. On top of that, I have Comcast, and from what I understand, you can't use Google TV with Comcast. So just keep that in mind. But I still think there's a lot of value to the Google TV, even though it's not hooked up to my cable, my set-top box. You can still use it as an internet-connected device to watch Netflix, to watch video on demand from Amazon, or streaming from Amazon if you're an Amazon Prime member. There's a lot of options that you can use this for and not have it connected to your cable television. So I'm just going to go down here where it says I do not have a set-top box, which I actually do, but I'm not going to be able to attach it like I explained. So we're going to go to the next option here. Okay, step 11 of 12, TV setup. Using the controller with your TV. The Logitech Review controller in your hands can be used as a remote for your TV. To do so, you'll be asked to provide the brand and model number of your TV. The original TV remote is sometimes needed to complete this step, so keep it nearby. Now, I don't have a TV, I have a projector. I have a high definition projector here in my setup. So I don't really need to control it with my Logitech Review keyboard here. So I'm not too concerned with this. The only thing I do want to do is set my Logitech Review up with my receiver. I do have a receiver here because I have 7.1 Dolby Digital Audio up here. So um, I'm going to have to set that up. But the television, I do not have to set up here. So let me click on Next. Scroll down. Not on this list. It's actually an Acer. Now, I really don't want to do this, so I'm just going to skip this step up here. Because, like I said, I have a projector, I don't have a television set. So I'm going to skip this. Now, the receiver is the one I do want to hook up. So, AV receiver setup using the controller with your AV receiver. The Logitech Review controller in your hands can be used as a remote for your AV receiver. To do so, you'll be asked to provide the brand and model number of your AV receiver. Don't have an AVR? Just press skip. Okay, I do have an AVR. I am going to click next here. And it is a Sony. The model number I have is an STR DG720. And I'm going to hit next. Yes, that's correct. And I have the Logitech Review connected to the satellite port here, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, AV receiver setup, Sony STR DG720 added. You can use your Logitech Review controller to turn your receiver on or off, switch your AV receiver input to the review box, and control the volume. So that's pretty cool because I just can control everything with the keyboard in the palm of my hands here. So I'm going to click next here. Congratulations on setting up your new Logitech review. Now for the first time, you can easily search and find just what you're looking for across your TV, 
the web, apps, even the media on your home network. Use apps like Pandora and Netflix. Features like Dual View and optional accessories like Logitech TV Cam. Review makes your home TV once again the center of all your entertainment experiences. Welcome to the future of entertainment.